Hi everyone. So in this video, we will have a look at an alternative solution to a problem which was proposed by Sir on Excel on Fire YouTube channel, and he solved the problem using Excel's expand function, and he displayed a practical use case for expand function as well. Uh, so what is the agenda for this video? In this video, we will try to see an alternative solution to the same problem, and uh, we will use make array function for that. So it's always better to have more and more solutions and uh, different logics to solve the similar problem. So uh, let's see the solution step by step and I will attach the link of the video by sir as well in the description box uh, below. So let's move on to the Excel sheet. So, so let's try to explore the problem first. So let's say we are given with this data in which we have the number of days and the starting date for these particular names, right? So what we have to do is let's say we take the starting date and we have to keep on adding to this uh, date incremented by one right if if i add one to this again if i drag it across so you can see that we have generated four dates as as was given here and is starting from this particular date similar task that we have to do for e each of these names right each of these rows in this table so i will have to again copy this down and what we have to do basically here we have to generate five dates similarly here we have to generate let's say only two days so i will remove the extra two right here we have to generate six dates so increase the length right and similarly here we have to only do do the task uh, three times so this is the output that we have to generate basically and if we make any changes here this should update automatically so how we would solve this problem so let me remove this and do it dynamically using make array formula so what we will do is we will write equals to make array right it is asking us for rows so how many rows would we require we would require the number of rows that are there in our data right in in this table so this is the uh, parameter that we would pass then as columns so what we would do is we will take maximum of this days column so the maximum from this days column is the uh, is the number of columns that we want to see in our desired output right and as our function we will write lambda and let's say we call out uh, each row by r and each column by c right and let's say we wish to see column value as a result of our make array function so let's close the brackets press enter and we are getting these results so let, let me change the format first right let 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 us make to general so we have this general format correct so now as you can see that this is the first column second column third column fourth column fifth sixth right now we will uh, see that how we can come to our desired result so what we will do we will make a comparison here so what we will do we will write we will check for if c is less than or equal to each of these corresponding values right so for uh, selecting each of these corresponding values what we will do is we will use a choose row right choose rows this will be our array this will be our array and our row number will be r right and our row number will be the corresponding row number let's close the bracket press enter and we have this uh, this result as true and false so here as you can see that these for the first four values we are getting true and for the rest of them we are getting false again for this we are getting five trues as as was indicated by this number again here the full uh, all the values are true because this was the maximum number correct and again again here we are getting three trues and three false so in place of true basically we want this start date and each of these should be incremented by one so what we will do is we will again come here and we will write our if condition so le let me make it to another line by pressing alt enter so we will write our if condition if this is true if this is true what we want to do is what we want is we want again we will use choose rows and now our array will be this start column choose rows our row number will be r right from the current row we want to start and let's close the bracket let's close the bracket for now right right let's close the bracket for now press enter and this is the result that we are getting right as you can see that that this is the same date that is being repeated again we will we can format this uh, but this is the same date that we are getting across all the cells but this is not what we wanted we want to increment each of the next row to be incremented by one until it is true so what we will do for this thing we will add the column value right minus one let's press enter and we are getting each of these uh, values incremented by one right five four five 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 six five seven now our next task is to in place of the now our next task is that in place of this for these false values we want to see an empty string 
let's press enter and we are getting our result correct again our next task will be to format these as dates so for that we can use text function so we will come here and use text function we want to display it as date date right mmm yy yy right let's close the bracket for text function let's press enter uh, so i guess uh, okay i guess uh, we forgot to use the double quotes here let's press enter and we got our results right this is the basic construction construction of our formula right we used make array and the combination of choose rows and we got this result right and this is as per what we discussed earlier so uh, let's try this let's try this by expanding our selection let's say in place of this two let me make it five right so you can see that it got expanded let's say in place of this five again we make it eight so again our array got expanded and this this result is dynamic now correct let's again make it three or four let's say so we are getting our results let's expand our uh, let's expand our table row wise so let's say in future a new name that is e is added and uh, let's say uh, his number of days is six and his start date is let's say today's date right today's date 13th of december 2022 right so as you can see that this result is absolutely dynamic because of the usage of tables and because of dynamic array formula so thanks a lot for watching this video till end i hope you i hope you like the video and uh, like the idea behind the construction of this formula so uh, so thanks a lot and hope to see you in more such videos in future